Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. If you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So if you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload three videos. I upload four videos a week: beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, you guys. So for today's video, I have for you guys a Jesus chat. And I really want to start this series just because I'm starting to read more books. I really want to start a book review series on my channel. Just so that way, if you guys are looking for any good books to read, I like I have these reviews here on my channel. You know, like you can just go to my channel and be like, oh, what was that book that she was talking about on her Instagram or anything that she mentioned? So that way, if I mention it on Instagram, there will be a video for it on my YouTube channel. And I'm just starting it today. I will also do a review on previous books that I've read. Just got to go ahead and round them all up because one of the books is not actual in physical form. It was um, like for the Kindle. So yeah, so... Anyways, today's book that we're going to be reading is Holy Hustle. So, Holy Hustle, I will just go ahead and so I'll just read everything on the front and then everything on the back. And then I will read you guys the very last page of the book. Because to me, it's all about how a book ends. So, I guess I could read, I don't know, it's so weird to choose where to read. Oh, yeah, I'll read the last page of the actual chapter of the book so starting off holy hustle embracing a work hard rest well life by crystal stein and the back of it just says work without shame rest without guilt balance is what we long for in our lives as we hear shouts of work harder in one ear and whispers of rest more in the other ear what if god's plan for us isn't just one way or the other enter holy hustle Crystal Stein followed a path to success and she climbed the corporate ladder. Now she explores hustle in a new light as a self-employed work from home mom. She invites you to join her and experience renewed peace as you focus on serving, not striving. Reawaken potential as you ditch comparison and embrace community. Redefined purpose as you seek the roles God has for you. You were created to work with enthusiasm for the right reasons and you were also made with the need to rest. Discover that place where these meet in a happy, holy hustle. So now I'm going to read this last little part of the book. Like this is the ending of the book. Be who God created you to be. Live it boldly. Stand where you've been called. Get free from expectations and stay free in the knowledge that the work we do is for the kingdom. When we get on our feet and move when God calls us, we'll bear fruit. We'll bear fruit. That will leave a legacy. And Jesus went, and it, it quotes Matthew 9 at 9. And Jesus went from, and Jesus went on from there. He saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him. And Matthew got up and followed him. Follow him and stand firm. So I love this book because if you are someone who follows God, you can read a lot of books that are literally just even by pastors or just kind of self-help books and they kind of throw God in there like they kind of just like sprinkle him in there. Well, in this book, God isn't the seasoning. He's the meat. Do you get what I'm saying? So like in this book, God's the meat and her life and what she's teaching you is what's the seasoning if that makes any sense of what i'm trying to say in my mind it's making sense let me know if it made sense but i like how god censored this book is so in this book obviously you have where the chapters start and throughout the chapter she will ask questions she will let you know whenever it's time to start um to get out your book or whatever they like to get out your notebook to take notes or whatever they will let you know when it's time to like get out your notebook and take notes because she will ask questions for instance in the first chapter i highlighted around the questions that she asked and then i wrote it down in my notebook so after that she will take you deeper like okay this is the scripture that i based x y and z chapter on and so go read this entire chapter in the bible after you've read the chapter in the book and then after that she has she goes she does a review over the chapter of the bible 
that you read and then she asked more questions so then you reflect on it so she has the chapter that she wrote herself and then she has what she calls digging deeper which is going into the scripture and then she has a reflection now let's sit down and take the time and absorb and write down everything that she read out of not only my chapter that helped you but now out of the scripture and what god was trying to tell you through the scripture so that is like the main thing that i really love about this book and if you're wondering so now we'll just say like, well, who is this book made for? Because I'm just to stay at home. Like you may be thinking to yourself, oh, well, all I do is stay home. I'm just a stay at home wife. Maybe you're a stay at home wife and you don't have kids. Maybe you're a stay at home wife and you do have kids. Maybe you work a nine to five. Maybe you work a nine to five, you're a wife and a mother. Or, you know, like maybe this is like this book is for any woman, because if you're a stay at home mom, this at, or you're a stay at home wife and you don't have kids, this book is going to teach you how to not be lazy. If you're a stay at home mom with kids or you work a nine to five on top of being a wife and a mother, this book is going to teach you how to rest. Because if you're anything like if you're a stay at home mom like me, you may realize and also I have a YouTube channel. There's a lot of work that goes into a YouTube channel. There's a lot of my videos sometimes could take hours filming because I have to get up and deal with my kids in between as well as I could use up to eight hours of my day editing one a video and then I have to sit there and I have to go in and do the description box the tags upload it to YouTube that's another couple of hours so YouTube is a real job it requires real work and for a lot of people who are just starting out you're not getting paid to do it at first this is all free so anyways that was a little rant but this teaches you the balance between work and rest. Well, why is it important to rest? I thought God called us to do good works. Yes, he has called you to do good works, but he's called you to do works that he's called you to do. He doesn't have the same calling of works for everybody, if that makes sense. So this book will really help you discern that. So I just picked this up because I, when I actually bought this book, I've had this book sitting on my shelf for about a year now, you guys, maybe a year and a half, and I barely cracked it open last month. And I, when I originally got this book, I got it because I was like, okay, I want to get serious about YouTube. I know YouTube requires a lot of work, but how do I work the way that God calls me to work? So I had this book, I bought this book, and it sat there on the shelf for the longest time. And then when Ethan started school, I felt myself, like the week before he started school, like I could just feel myself getting really overwhelmed. I could feel myself pulling away from God because like I just felt like I didn't have time and I was busy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to start reading books as my nighttime devotional because I have my morning time devotional already. But then that means that I go 12 hours without maybe I might pray in the middle of the day when somebody asks for a prayer. But now I'm to a point to where like I can pray all day throughout the day and then I have something to look forward to before bed, which is reading a book. Like I said, I finished this one and I really recommend if you guys to get this book, if you struggle with knowing when to say no and when to say yes. And if you struggle with knowing when it's time to rest and when it's time to work, like I, you have to put up boundaries, um, especially if you're a stay at home mom or you work from home, like you have to have those boundaries. And this book is really going to help you with that um, and help you work and rest in a godly way, not just not work the way the world calls you to work like, oh, hustle. Oh, you're a boss bee. You never stop. Well, no, God hasn't called me to work like that. Like I need to stop sometimes and I need to work where he's called me to work, how he's called me to work. And I also need to remember that even God had to rest after he created everything. The six days of creation, he worked, he rested on the seventh day. Rest will look, and, that, and that's one thing I like that she points out in here, like your work won't look like everybody's, your rest won't look like everybody else's, but you need to find what's rest for you and know how to draw the line from overworking, which in this word, she calls it as striving. And then where you're just not being lazy. So this is a really good book, you guys. So this is my little review of the book. If you've seen it or you were thinking about picking it up, I really do recommend it, you guys. This book, oh my gosh, like this book has just changed my perspective on so many things. I have more times for my family. And if I feel like, you know what, I can't get to work on my YouTube channel today, but my kids need my attention. So that will be my work for the day. It's helped me give myself grace within that. So yeah, I love you guys. Um, let me know if you're going to pick up this book. Let me know if this book sounds interesting to you. Let me know if you've read this book. So yeah, you guys, if you have any more video suggestions, please leave that in the comment box below. If, excuse me, if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.